So it's day two and it is golf day today. We're going to head over to a speech, never played it before. We're going to do a little bit of on-course coaching with Dave, so hopefully catch a few tips there that might help you out. Also, uh, before I do any of that, I need to build some golf clubs. Nice little tip for you when you're traveling. Take all the heads off your clubs, put your shafts in the bag that way. So it saves any uh, unnecessary accidents happening from them. Delightful baggage handlers that might just really gently throw your clubs onto the plane. I've uh, got my driver here. Eight degree lofted stealth driver, stealth two. Don't forget your key. Otherwise, you won't be able to build your clubs. Just hold your pose, that's all. Doesn't matter where the ball goes. Very good. Oh, good ball. Nice sort of fade back there as well. Hold on. So I'm out on the sixth hole at Espeche Golf Club now. It's delightful out here. No wind at all, pretty warm. Fairways are firm and fast. It's quite a tricky golf course. You can see the ball will bounce quite firm off these fairways. Quite a few hills as well. Um, so hills, loads of trees, and tight, firm, bouncy fairways. Not what I'm used to at St Anselm Links, but certainly an enjoyable and very playable golf course as well. <laughs> Real life birdie. So we are out on the, just about to play the 17th hole here at Espeche and I've got Dave with me who's been playing rather nicely, enjoying today's round. We have had a little bit of a chat about course management. Dave, how have you found the game today? Excellent, really has, I really enjoyed it. I learnt a lot of from uh, the tips that you've been giving us when going round, yeah. Great, brilliant. So one thing I've spoken about and Dave, similar to many sort of handicapped golfers, is we had one hole was a 220 yards to the pin up a slight hill, and his words were, "I think I can get there with three wood um, if I hit a good one." Uh, there was tree; it's like a corridor of trees. There's trouble everywhere. Water on the left, and I just said, "Look, think a little bit about hitting maybe a, a seven iron." And again, that's not something you'd normally do. No, it isn't, no. Um, Dave hits a 7 iron, 150 yards, um, and that has leave him with 70-yard pitch in. It was a stroke index one hole, so Dave had uh, a shot to use. So we went with that, and he left. we pretty much left yourself a 70-yard pitch, which you then nailed and hit it pin high. Right, yep. Not, no, a lot of golfers in that scenario would have gone maybe a hybrid or even hit that 5-wood or the 3-wood. Never mind getting into trouble, but certainly getting in a situation that you'd be playing a difficult shot next. And even if you hit a good one and got it 20 yards short of the green, how would you feel about playing a 20, 20 yard, yard chip? Shot, it's, a, it's a difficult shot as a 20 yard yeah. chip. Yeah. Yeah. Rather yeah. than a 70 yard yeah. pitch that you yeah. can commit to. Yeah. The course itself has been fantastic. Dave's really done well with his golf today. Um, and Kath and Robert over there. Cass doing a great job with this event. Robert, <laughs> Robert's even picked up something today. So, yeah, uh, yeah we're, we're doing well, really doing well. We're going to yeah. crack on and uh, we'll crack, finish Perfect the rest of the night. Rules. Pick it up steeply. 
That's it. Yeah, that. Well done. Brilliant.